Time is moving fast, but I can't go. You keep trying to hear. Okay, let's get started. I've already primed my face and did my eyebrows. I use the Too Faced Primed and Peachy Cooling Matte Skin Perfecting Primer. Um, yeah, this is a matte primer, so that's what I used. And then for my brows, I used the Browways Anastasia Dip Brow, some soap, and my little scooter things. If y'all want a routine or if y'all want a video on how to do my brows, please let me know in the comments down below, and I'll be sure to get that to you. But for now, I'll go ahead and link all the stuff that I'm using. Um, a lot of it came from Amazon. A lot of it was some of it for my brows came from Amazon. Um, I'll go ahead and link that down below. But yeah, let's get started. So Prime, the Matte Poreless Foundation. This is in the shade 312 Golden. Probably a little bit more of my summer shade, but it's all right. And I'm also using a damp um, beauty sponge. By Real Techniques. So, like I said, this is a very quick look. We're using, but you, when you also want full coverage. So, I'm taking some of this foundation, I'm gonna apply it to the back of my hand. You don't need too much, or I mean, depending on how much coverage you want. Like I said, I'm still going for a fuller coverage, but I'm not going for maximum coverage if that makes sense so i have about a little quarter nickel size find this all over my face with my finger and then i'm going to go in with the beauty sponge and blend it out So after that, we on a roll. We got people to see, people, places to be. So I'm taking the Instant Age Rewind. Like I said, it's gonna be a full coverage look. In all of five minutes, all you need is a little bit right under your under eye. Got that. So now what we're about to do is, you know, you don't want to really walk out without a little bit of something on your cheeks. You gotta add a little dimension. Well, my brush is not over here once. Here she is, I'm back. So I'm going in with my Tried and True Shade and Light Palette by Kat Von D. Using these first two shades, and I'm just gonna kind of bronze up. So really, the base of the face is pretty much done. I'm about to go back in with my, um, this is the brush that I use to um, shape my brows. It's a little dirty, she's a little raggedy, don't mind her. But I'm gonna go back into this foundation, just dip that a little bit, and what I'm gonna do is go across the top of my brows just so we don't have any harsh lines or anything like that because i know with the beauty sponge it sometimes it's not hard to get up there but wow sometimes i don't in fear that i might take off some of my brows Okay. So now that we've got that, I'm not applying anything to the 
lock something to the lids, you can go back into that, um, whatever you use to bronze. I'm just gonna apply a little bit of this to my lids. This one's a little bit darker, you know. I like this one, the lighter one. So what I'm gonna do is go in with another brush. This one is pretty clean. We might have used her once, but I'm just gonna kind of blend out a little bit more. That's gonna have to do for now. We have things to do, right? Oops, all that is done. Since we did apply concealer to um, our under eye area, we do need to set that. Don't go anywhere without setting it. So what I'm doing is taking my beauty blender. I think I've shown y'all this before. Look up. I'm gonna press out any crease. I'm not pressing very hard. You don't wanna move the makeup that's sitting there. Try not to look down. I mean, I'm gonna look down. Then press your pressed powder right into the under eye area. So that's there. Now what we're going to do is take a little bit of our highlighter. This is the Becca highlighter. Um, have I been showing y'all my products? So I use the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. And then I went into this Adrian concealer and all of that for under my eyes. Use the cap of uh, the Kat Von D shade and light palette. I'm using the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder underneath my eyes. And now that I've talked, I don't really bake. I'm just gonna brush this off. That's about how long I leave it on. Brush down and out lightly again to so not move the product. You might have a little mess up down there, but you can't see it too. Can't see it too well. So I'm going in with this Becca highlighter. I'm using tip of my finger. I'm gonna go right into this is like the first highlighter that I put pan on. But you can go right into the highlighter, getting a little bit on your finger. Down get right there in the corner of the eye. Corner of the eye, girl. We don't even have to blend it. We don't have time, right? So just make sure that looks cool all over up there. That does look cool. What we're about to do now is dab a little bit right down, keep it low. And then a little bit right on the tip of the nose. Tip of the nose and bridge of the nose, just right in there. And even though we're not using a brush, you do still want to make sure you're blending it out decent. Just to make sure there's no hard, harsh lines. Okay, so here we are with that. I'm going to put on a little bit of blush. Not very, not very much. I'm using the same brush that I used for the bronzer. This is the Max Sweetest Cocoa. I think it's a bronzer, but I'm going to use it as a blush. Just to put it in there. Smile and hit the apples on your cheeks. That's drying. We're going to go ahead and use this is the Essence Going Steady Soft Contouring Lip Liner. Got this from like a CVS, I'm pretty sure. We're just going to line our lips. Now, my 
let's go in with the mascara. I'm, today I'm using the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. I need a new one, so this is probably about to come out very nasty. But she's gonna get them black, and she's gonna make them look like something. Especially with that primer, like I barely use any mascara, because there's barely any in here. But since they were white, and because I used that primer, it's all working pretty well. Not doing anything to my bottom lashes today, like I said, because well, we gotta go, right? So before I continue, I'm taking this. This is a CoverGirl, like gloss. It comes in like a two pack thing with like a gloss and then I think one of their pigments or something like that. It's supposed to be like a color stay thing. That's what it is, color stay. Um, sometimes I use this because it's pretty good. It's pretty moisturizing before any type of lipstick I am going to be applying a gloss today but I'm applying a lipstick too this is the Mac Velvet Teddy got this from Marshall Mac it was like five dollars it might be like ten in line but um we're gonna apply this I really don't even need to apply anything to this look but I do want a little bit of a more pinker lip not so much um like the lip liner so we got that going lips are looking cool we're looking cool since we're dang near done i am going to go a little bit of this right in the middle this is a mark jacobs um lip gloss not sure what shade oh sugar sugar enamored high shine gloss lip liqueur it's shade 312. So that's all that we're going to do, y'all. And drop to my setting spray. We're done. So let's set our face. Oh, my neck be looking strong when I do that. Ooh, I keep them down too, but don't forget about your foundation. So before I set my face, I'm going to go in and good. Any creases we're done it's been like 10 minutes but I'm going to make sure that all the creases are filled filled and set whatever you want to do so a little powder I have deep deep smile lines and so I'm just gonna set those really quickly notice again I went in with the beauty blender and then this is not a beauty blender I don't know why I keep calling it that but the real technique sponge and then uh, set it with the powder and now I'm just going to dust that away Got 
but the fact that I need my brows done and they're looking like this. Oh yeah. Um, let me show you from the side. If it looks multiple colors, girl, just bring it down your neck a little bit more and you'll be cool. Bring it down your neck to your ear, wherever you need to go. Okay, so I just applied some of the edge control to this side. I'm gonna go ahead and brush this side back. Which is why I'm using a little spoolie brush that came with my brushes. I did use a toothbrush and I still do use a toothbrush. But I feel like for the dreads, and really braids in general, when it comes time to brushing something back up into it, the toothbrush was just a little too big and would always pull my hair. Not like pull it, but like pull the hair out of where I'm trying, out of the dread, out of the braid, out of whatever. They look a little messy, but we're gonna tie them down. It's gonna be okay. And then we're gonna spray a little something on them to get rid of the, um, it's not a gel cast, but it kind of looks like a gel cast. So I'm taking this. Go. You can go all the way down if you want to your sideburns. I'm just kind of going to leave those. I'm going to get this, but or I didn't even get it over here. I don't know. I kind of like the whole natural look too. So this down here, I'm just kind of brushing back. It's time for these to come out. Just the hair that you're brushing that has nowhere to go, I kind of just tuck it beneath one of the dreads. And that's it, sis. There's a little piece at the front that can kind of be done. Sometimes do her, sometimes don't. She likes to act like an edge only on a certain occasion. So let's see if today is a day. Okay, she did a little something. It was cool or whatever, but that's all we gonna do. Um, take back out my little clip. Like this, is what you look like? Hair's done. Everything did okay. Now tell me how this little ten minute was gonna be. How this little ten minute makeup came. Do I have to put on some hoops? Let me get in a little bit closer so y'all can see. I look real orange, but I promise it's just the color. But this is kind of cute. My bad, messy or whatever. Throw it on, put in some hoops. <laughs> Who is she? Who? It's gonna last me actually today. And didn't even use it. And didn't even use it. Girl, family shorts lotion I used to work at a dermatology office this lotion I told y'all I was having a little eczema thing on the back of my hand can you see it's getting so much better but girl it was dang near hurting to the touch um that used to recommend this lotion it's not prescription or anything over the counter a good moisturizer if you need one so there you, there you go This is the Shein bra, by the way. It's cool. I do like it. Obviously, I'm going to wear them. Um, but she gaps a little bit in certain areas. But no mind. No worries. I need to get a little bit lighter. I'm looking very forced. So, is this what you guys do? Is this is how it is. Oh, and now I look like freaking He Man Women Hater. He Man, She Man of the Women Hater Club. really my hand everything I do brings out like every muscle in my body and I don't like that so let me just give you a quick roll kind of like in here like it down here where's a photographer when I need one see then I can't give you too much arm 
this is leaves and I'll add and everything because I'm looking up there and I should be looking right here but I just want y'all to get into the look okay if you can see my stash hairs ignore them I tried to pluck a few but edges and everything they look crusty and dusty like I said but they gonna get you to where you need to be okay so that we just gonna go this was kind of cute back here. I'm using so much ab right now that it makes no, no sense. Like, I'm shaking. <sighs> okay, hopefully that's 